Hey guys, I just wanted to take a second and give a special thanks to Clever Fox for sponsoring this video. Cleverfoxplanner.com. Check them out. Do it now! So, like many others, which you're going to see coming up, Clever Fox reached out to Renee and said, Hey, we dig you. Check out our stuff. And so I said, Hey, I dig you. I just ordered some stuff. And now you're going to send me free stuff. I love it. So this is what we got. And then we'll go into the reasons why. I got... The bi-weekly budget planner in like the A5 with a really pretty teal. And I already have it. That's the one I bought. And I wanted you to have one because we're doing that thing. You know what we're doing. And I got a recipe book. This is for me. Because my one at work <laughs> is nasty. Nasty. It's like five years old and it's covered in crap. And then I got a plain dotted journal. Because I know some of you were wanting to start your bullet journal experience, but didn't have one. And so, I got one. We're going to take a look at all this stuff, because it's awesome. We're starting here. Dotted Journal A5. And this is the Clever Fox Dot Journal 2.0. There's another one, and I can't remember why I got this one. I think I got it because the cover was really cool. But on my plan with me video, when we were just chatting and not planning, which I need to fix, I need to do my April. Next time, we're actually going to do some planning, y'all. But we had to get all the small talk out of the way. It happens. It's okay. All right, dotted journal. So some of you were talking about you wanted to do... The whole bullet journal thing, but a bullet journal, brand new, is like 30 bucks. That's a little pricey. This is less. A dotted journal at Clever Fox is only 19 bucks, $18.99. Or for interest-free payments of $4.75 with afterpay. And you get all these different colors. There's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 different colors to choose from. Whereas the bullet journal comes in black. Which is my signature color, so I don't care. Dotted journal. Alright, you've got... Good, it's got... It's got where you can put your keys... Like, um, like a dot means this, a dash means this, or if you want to color code your pages, you can do that. Um, it's got your, your index here, content, that's good. Cool. Pages are, are good thick paper, just like the, um, just like my bullet journal, and they are numbered, which is awesome. If you've ever numbered a journal, it kind of blows. But it's just dot grid, blank notebook. Oh, it comes with some goodies. Comes with some goodies. No hassle warranty card, which you can't use because you didn't buy it. And then it's got some stickers. Exercise, heart healthy eating, finance, love ins, book reading, yoga, meditation, self care, exercise, gifts, party, family, and moving on up. <laughs> So, yeah, you get some free some free stickers in there. That'll be fun. And it's got three bookmarks, and it's rose gold. For 19 bucks. it's got these three bookmarks. Come on now. Why do I have to struggle? We were doing so well, you and I. All right. Three different colored bookmarks. Like a rose gold one, a, a khaki, and a, and a dark brown, which they probably use different names. That's okay. It's got a pin loop and this awesome paper, 120 GSM, 
And the bullet journal, I believe, is the same thing. Because it's a lectern. 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 Which is probably the same company. So this is really cool. For 19 bucks, this is a good buy. And, by the way, if you're interested, if you use the code NERDY10, N-E-R-D-Y-10, you can get 10% off your the whole purchase so that's a good deal that's a, to have a to have a an index already in here and then to have numbered pages three bookmarks and a pen loop man that's like gold right there yeah i like it i like it i like it enough the only thing it's missing is the grid on the inside cover like uh on the bullet journal, it's got this grid that tells you your spacing already here. And that's the only thing that's different. It's the same paper. So that's cool. Yeah, I like it. In fact, when I exhausted this one, I'll be getting one of theirs. I like it a lot. I like it a lot and it's textured. It's textured. All right, enough about that. Recipe book. All right, so again, this is the A5. I got all A5. And this is $21.99. And it comes in a bunch of different colors. It's, it's pr the same paper, same all the things. It's got the pen loop and the band around the front. And you need you need special opening tools like that. And again, this one, ooh, this one's like a like a suede. It's a soft cover. Oh, it's gonna pick up. It's gonna pick up so much crap at work. Gosh darn it! Oh, if they made one of these with this cover, oh. All right, let's look in here. 22 bucks. This is a fill, how to fill it in. This is an, an example. So let's go. What do we have? Ooh, measurements. It's got definitions of what things are, like what's a dash, what's a base, what's a steam, what's a, what's a scald, how to scald. What does scald mean? To bring to a temperature just below the boiling point. It's got liquid measures in fluid ounces and metric, dry measures in ounces by weight and metric, Fahrenheit, Celsius, and gas mark. So if you want 275 or 140 Celsius, gas mark one. Okay. And then you've got an index, good, good 120 GSM pages. And then here we go. Recipe title, best served with for what kind of wine or cheese, the ingredients and any notes and then directions. And that's the whole book. That's the whole thing. And it's color coded. So you could put some tabs in and separate, separate things. And all the way to the back, there's a lot of recipes. And then it's got some stickers. They like stickers. Clever Fox, boom. Um, two pages of stickers. I wonder if the other one had two and I just missed it. You got what kind of dish you've got. Um, some cool motivational stickers, fun stickers calorie counts and then some fun uh food stickers that's pretty cool that's pretty cool i don't know if i'll ever use these but here they are in the back of my book this cool little pocket where i can just shove index cards in if I, you know, rip something out of a magazine and I want to save it. Oh, I love it. 
pass down your recipe book to the next generation. Yeah. Bleed proof 120 GSM paper and it's super soft. Oh, Liz would love this. Liz would love that. Anyway, this is staying with me, but just so you can see what it is. I had been working in this beast, Burt 2.0. I mean, it's a thick, thick, chunky book. And the first time I got it, I was super stoked about it. I loved using it. But I didn't use it this time. I did September... I did September, and that was it. One month. Because it's just so... It was just... It was overwhelming this time. And I hated this cover that, that comes out all the time. And, and I think it was the cover that just kept me from using it because I got tired of it falling off and then getting hacked off because I had to keep putting it back on. So this was wasted. What was it? 45 bucks? Wasted, wasted, wasted. Um, so I, I was actually looking. I was looking for a new planner and a new budget planner because I need to track my stuff. Oh, I need to at least try to track my stuff, right? I, I, you know, ADHD and tracking things is for me is is it doesn't happen. And I looked at they have other bigger planners like with the. That, you know, look like this with the thing and the rings and the things. and But they're all monthly planners. And for me, monthly budgeting doesn't work. It's, 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 the numbers are too big. I can't, I can't understand. I can't separate my money out like that. It, that's what I had been trying to do all along and it never worked. But, but. Budgeting by my paycheck, that works. So a bi-weekly budget planner, that's what I chose. And I actually, I bought one for myself before, the, and it came before that got here. So I filled it out a little bit so you can see it. Um, it's that same hunt, bleed, bleed, no bleed, 100 GSM paper. And I did a pen test on it with a bunch of different kinds. There's Microns and my Mulatto uh, Lamy Safari um, fountain pen that smears, so I can't use that. Super tips uh, with a Posca on the inside. Flare pens, Tombow, Sharpie, the Sharpie, um, my favorite little Sharpie, Ultra Fine, and my my Inner Gel no smear, which didn't smear. It smeared a little bit, but it's not that. It's not as bad as like this. If my hand runs over it. And the only thing that bled through was the Sharpie. Nothing else ghosted and nothing nothing else came through. So you can use pretty much any pen you want to on this paper and any color. The fact that I can use super tips, what I did not try were alcohol markers, but you shouldn't be using alcohol, alcohol markers in here anyway. Um, I'm betting the midliners work. If, Z if Zebra... Um, if Tombow's working here and Super Tips working here, then your your midliners are going to work as well. So you start out name super nerdy, nerdy 10, 10% off, and this this goes for 25 bucks on the the Nerdy Fox Nerdy Clever Fox uh, website. And you start out you got you got a bunch of goals uh, which I will be leaving blank because every time I set a goal, I don't hit it. So I just stop setting goals. I have thoughts of what I want to do. And you've got strategy and your tactics to meet your strategy, your strategy for your goals. The things you're going to do to meet your goals. So that's pretty cool. I might actually think about that. I won't, I may not write in it, but so I hit my hand on a door. I, I'm a, it's a, and this was me playing with the cat, and I'm sorry. These are my hands. I don't care. Uh, you can do your net worth if you're interested in doing that. Money opportunities. Uh, it has some questions here. What am I good at? How much can I expect to earn? What are my hobbies and interests? How do I monetize my hobbies? That's good stuff to think about if you're looking for a side hustle 
and you don't want to get a part-time job, you can doing things that you love to do is is fun to make money at. Um, important dates. I guess I would put like in December. I would put car tags because this is financial, not personal. So you do your car tags. Any um, big subscriptions that are going to come out would go here, or you know, like um, I would put in August. I would put uh, nerd nerd networking conference here. Um, April camping trip, any, you know, vacations that you're going to take so you can be aware, oh, I need to be saving for that. And that's how long I am till I get to that, I guess. And then you get into your calendars and we'll take a look at it in a minute. I mean, no, we won't because that's for another video. But I mean, all I did was list out my, my bills and subscriptions and it's a combination of personal and, uh, my, my, uh, budget nerd company because I need it all in one place. And it, it's undated, so you can start it any month that you want. You just got to write your dates in. And I only wrote them in, I think, four months out because I thought I had a subscription coming out here, and I don't. It's the month before, so that was awesome. Um, once you get through your months, then you get into your weekly budgets, your biweekly budgets. Um so this is the first two weeks of April. We'll go here. There's goals, upcoming purchases, things you're going to have to get, uh, upcoming bills, your income. There's four lines for income and savings, which I don't, I won't probably use that. And then here is a, the budget and it's back to categories. I've gotten completely away from my categories. So yay, I get to redo those. Down here at the bottom, you've got your opening balance, your total income, total expenses, the difference between those, total savings, and total leftover. So I'm probably going to maybe have to change those up. And then the next, I'm going to show you a different one. The next is, um, the next two pages, the next spread is an expense tracker and then ideas and notes. So I split these. Um, this side is going to be for budget nerd company. And then this side is going to be for personal expenses. So I can have them all listed right, right here. And that's the bulk of the book or your bi-weeklies. There's 26 of them. So you're going to do two weeks at a time, 52 weeks in a year. Um, or there's 21. I forget it's, but you have to, you have to double up your weeks to get through it. The one thing I wish they would have done is to put the monthly calendar and then the budget behind that and then the next calendar and then the budget behind that instead of grouping them together like this. But you get three bookmarks, so you get one for your calendar, you get one for your budget, and then you get one for back here where the, the other fun stuff starts. Where you get your debt tracker, your savings tracker. If you're saving, you know, you could do one thing that you're saving for, the amount that you need and the due date, and then you can log all your, your entries into that. I thought about using it. Well, um, I could use it for my long-term savings challenges. I don't know what I'm going to use this for. I'm just not sure because this, you know, the way we do things with cash budgeting, this is... I mean, it's okay, but there's not enough entries. I mean, that's like six months. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to use it. You can use it however. You can use it just like it's designed. That's fine. A bunch of dead trackers. And then you got a holiday budget with holiday gifts and spending. And then you have a bill tracker where you can write down all your bills, your subscriptions. I have mine split up between my mandatory monthly bills and my subscriptions for... Uh, the studio, and then a couple that are mine, and um, my I put my 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 recurring subscriptions at the bottom. Some of them are annual. Some of them, like Element, is going to be every three months. Oh my gosh, Element came, and I'm going to show you that at the end of this video. And then, like I wrote down, I I paused my all of my Audible for three months, so I can, you know, really figure out if that's what I want to do, and then. I pay for my Amazon Prime every month, but if I save up $140, I can just pay it for the year and be done with it. And so that's what I'm going to end up doing. You'll see a new envelope for that. And you can do your summary of the year. 
income expenses, the difference in your savings. And then uh, in, you can do your categories listed here. So that's good. Um, check register, which you can change to be anything else because really who uses checks anymore? I may use this for Budget Nerd Co. and make it a materials um, log that I, where I bought it. And then you've got accounts information, which I totally would not put into this. Um, you need to put that on a flash drive that's encrypted. And then some extra note pages and some stickers, which whoever wins, whoever wins the button, this bi-weekly budget planner will get my stickers because I don't use them and they will go to waste sitting in here. And because there's not enough, there's not enough. There's three pages of stickers, by the way. So you're going to have six pages of stickers. I'm just not, I can't. I try with the stickers, but... I mean, the most that I would want would be payday stickers, and there's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. There's only 14. Well, okay. There's more. But I get paid by several different incomes, and so... I want different colored stickers, and if I'm going to have stickers, I'm just going to make them myself. What I would like are some of those that you you can stick down and write in the amount, but I don't know why. You just write it down. Um, yeah, and then it's got some examples here of what you can do. Uh, so some of these goals, they have reduced student loan debt, write out my budget each month, pay off credit card debt, save for emergency fund for six months, get promoted at work. That's a good goal. That's not going to happen in my job, but whatever. So yeah, these are really cool. Clever Fox is a really cool company. I have liked them for a long time. I just don't show you what I have. So yeah, I love the bi-weekly I do wish it was set up a little bit different, but you know what? Bookmarks, bro. Bookmarks, bro. It's not hard to flip back and forth. It's not hard to flip back and forth. Awesome. Awesome. You need to be excited about that. And it's got a pin loop. And I have my Energel no smear pin in there. I love this. I, you know, I've already got it filled out. It's not even April yet. I haven't even filled out my budget, my bullet journal for April yet. And then I also bought this camping journal, which I'm really excited about. And it's got um, an, uh, a packing checklist for a camper or, or RV. And it's just, these are just suggestions. Things you go, oh yeah, wire cutters. Oh yeah, tweezers, you know. Um, here's a map of the U.S., a camping bucket list, places I want to go camp. I can put here, and I'll never go because it costs a lot of money to haul a camper, even my little one. Um, list of states you have visited. Well, if I kept it to just my camper, that would be two. But if I checked off all the states I've been to, it'd be the pretty much... Everything in the lower half and Washington. And where's um, Chicago, Illinois? Been there too. But nothing up here. One day I'll be in New York because my brother is going to go be a professor at West Point. Anyway. So what do we got? So a trip to, this is how it looks. You're taking a trip and this is where you're going. And these are the dates you're going. Oh, there's my little camper almost. The door's a little big, but it's my little camper. That's cute. You can color it in. Um, here's your packing checklist. You can write out and check off. Check off. There's a meal plan for what you're going to eat each day. A grocery list. This gets you totally ready for your camping trip. 
uh, a campsite log. So the date, the weather from, oh, where you came from and where you went to, the route you took, routes to avoid. So it's, this is just like a record of your trip, ending mileage, beginning mileage, uh, sites along the way. So you, you, as you're driving to your next destination, you're writing down, oh, we want to check that out, check that out, check that out. Uh, the contact at the, at the campsite, the site number, you can put your GPS coordinates in. Do you need a membership, the altitude, um, call service, carry, I don't know why that's there. Uh, how much it cost. Uh, and then you can check off the amenities and, and amenities and amenities. Is it paved? Did it have a store, a laundry, a pool? Was there a lot of shade? Did it have a 30 amp? You know, was the site level? It's all really important stuff. Was there firewood you could buy? Uh, and then you can, it's got a star rating for location, cleanliness, restrooms, water pressure, noise, and the size of your site. And so, you, and then you do an overall rating right here. Was there Wi Fi? Was it free? Or was there a fee? And then additional notes. And then over here, this is awesome. The the pros of this of the campsite, the cons, people that you met, things to do next time, uh, food, uh, cafes and restaurants nearby that you visited, uh, places visited, um, activities. So there's like a bike and hiking and sailing and all the things. And then notes and tips for the next visit. This is really cool. And then you have a, a, a spread for notes and pictures to put in here. This is awesome. And then it goes on to the next one. And that's it. That's the whole book. It's really cool. It's going to be great. And, you know, you don't even have to use it just for camping. If you go get into it, if you're like, go get, I'm sorry, my back is just really bad. Um, if you go rent a cabin somewhere. Oh, my gosh. Or you could use it for Airbnbs. If you go stay in Airbnbs, this is just really cool. Oh, and it has stickers too. I didn't even look. So there's, um, oh, these are really pretty. These are really pretty. Let's see. Oh, there's oh, three pages of stickers. Oh, cool. I used to play guitar a lot. I was in a band or two. But now I just have a ukulele and it goes with the camper sometimes. Cool camp. Oh, a kayak would be fun. I could start saving K bucks for a kayak. Except for I have nowhere to store it. So, so much for that. So this, this is awesome. This is awesome. How much was the, the camping in $19.99? But again, with, with the code NERDY10, you get 10% off that. Yes, you do. So go check out Clever Fox if you haven't before. If you're looking for a new journal, and this is like a leathery. It's awesome. And I love that it's textured, and all the pictures that are on here are fun. Like, you pick it up and you know that this is your camping journal because it's got all the camping gear. Anyway, so fun. Clever Fox. Cleverfoxplanner.com Giveaway. We're going to do hashtag journal for the dotted journal and hashtag nerdyfox for the budget planner. Now, what you have to do is you have to be 18. Sorry, kids, go get a parent. Um, but you have to be publicly subscribed. If you don't know how to do that, go find a video that tells you how. Uh, leave a comment, like the video. And in your comment, I want to tell, I want you to tell me why you chose the one that you chose because you can only choose one. Only one comment per person and you can only choose one of these. And I want to know what you're going to use it for. I don't want sad stories. Because <laughs> some of you are really creative. I don't want sad stories. I just want to know 
uh, why you chose the planner that you chose, what you're going to use it for, or what you're hoping to get out of it. You know, just tell me why. Give me your why. Why do you want a dotted journal? Why do you want a bi-weekly budget planner? You know, what are you using now that's just not working for you? I want to hear stories, but real stories. Don't, don't feed me a bunch of crap because I don't want to read that. Right. Journal Nerdy Fox. And this is, this is teal. This is just like mine. Just like mine. It's teal. It's leather. It's soft. It's got like a little cushion to it. It's really cool. And then this one is the, is the same thing, except for it's shiny. And it's rose gold. All right. Now look what else came in today. Element. Y'all, they shipped so fast. So fast. I don't, even, I don't even remember how many. I think it only took two days to get here. I was like, okay. So this is what $112 got me. All right. There we go. So it came with a free um, sample pack that has, like, all the flavors in here. And it came with a sticker that I could totally put on my envelope. Except for I already cut one, so. But it has this sample pack in here. That was free. Because I used, who I used? The, like the Keto Twins. I used their link. and it, So whatever I bought came with this. Um, this got the mango chili, citrus salt. This one is uh, chocolate salt. So this is really good in my coffee. And here's one that's raw, it's unflavored. So if you you know you just need a break from the flavors, there's orange. I really like the orange. And lemon habanero. Oh, that's new. I'm excited about that one. Raspberry I love and strawberry. Uh, watermelon I love. And then it's got some uh, propaganda in here. Yes. Yes. So excited. So I picked the citrus salt, the orange salt, the watermelon salt, and the raspberry salt. And no sugars. No sugar. Two grams of, of carbs, which is always, you know, good. No carbs are good. No carbs are good, y'all. And you get 30 in a box. And so my subscription, I set it for every three months. And you know what else this is good for is you can, under your your bills for your subscriptions, look, there's a bookmark, bookmark. So I wrote down my, my subscriptions that, you know, come out every every few months or once a year. And then I, I starting in April, and so I put how many bucks a month. I have to save to meet that deadline. And so Element is 117 every three months. So every month I need to save 40 bucks and I'll, I'll have that money. So that's good to know. That's good to know. Oh, you know what else is coming in? My Dapper subscription box. Oh, I'm so excited, Dapper. I love Dapper notes. Anyway, we're not doing that. Um, yeah, you get 30 packs and if you, if you use a whole pack, it needs to be in at least 32 ounces of water. At least. If you're doing less than that, then don't put the whole thing in there or it's going to taste like seawater. Trust me. Same thing with the chocolate ones. If you get the chocolate me melody. Did I just say chocolate melody? If you get the chocolate medley, it's got a, um, a chai, uh, chocolate mint, and... The raspberry chocolate. If you're putting it in a 12 ounce coffee, you you barely, you, not even a half a teaspoon. The first time I did it, I didn't read the directions. I just gripped it and ripped it and poured it in my 12 ounce coffee and it tasted like seawater. It was awful. And I was like, this can't be right. This can't be right. And I was correct. It was not right. But there's 200 milligrams of potassium, 60 milligrams of magnesium, 
1,000 milligrams of sodium, and it is salty AF, and it's so good. So good. So good. And I've got until December of 2025 to use these, so that's great. And I can have two a day. I can have two a day. Oh, it's so good. Electrolytes. Element. Oh, so good. I'm so excited. Super, super excited. Thank you, Element. Hey, guys, thanks for coming by and watching me open up some Clever Fox clever material. And I can't wait to see who wins. Okay. Love you. Bye. Hey guys, I just wanted to take a second and give a special thanks to Clever Fox for sponsoring this video. Cleverfoxplanner.com. Check them out. Do it now.